Greetings, this is Professor Lazarus again, and in our discussion today, we will be comparing and contrasting the cash basis accounting versus the accrual basis accounting. What are these accounting systems? These are two different types of accounting methods by which a company can maintain their records. How does a company know which one of these methods to use? Well, it depends on their individual circumstances, but as a broad guideline, smaller companies and service companies tend to use the cash basis accounting. Larger companies and companies that are selling inventory or maintain inventory tend to use the accrual basis accounting. So let's get right into an example to help us better appreciate and understand the differences between the two methods. So in the example here, in the month of February, a CPA opens up his practice for the first time and goes out and secures clients and completes work for them in the amount of $5,000. He does all of this in the month of February. He then sends out invoices also in the month of February out to his clients, giving them 30-day payment terms. So then we enter the month of March. In the month of March, the CPA receives all of this $5,000 from his clients for work completed in February. Also in the month of March, the CPA was unable to find any additional work. So he did absolutely no work in March. The only thing that happened in March was he received the $5,000 of uh, cash for the work done in the month of February. So the question then is which month does the CPA recognize revenues? Which month does the CPA recognize revenues? To answer that question, let's assume for a moment that the CPA maintains his own books on a cash basis. So if the CPA were to maintain his own books on a cash basis, then in the month of February, he records absolutely no revenues, zero revenues. But in the month of March, he records $5,000 worth of revenues. What is the basis for this revenue recognition? The basis is in the guideline that I provided you. When did the CPA receive the money? That's a question you need to ask yourself. When did the CPA receive the money? And as you can see, in the month of February, he received no money. So therefore, his revenues were zero. But in the month of March, he received $5,000 of cash. So his revenues in the month of March are 5,000. Accrual basis. What if the CPA were to maintain his books on an accrual basis? How would he, re which month would he recognize revenues then? In the month of February, he would recognize $5,000 of revenues but in the month of March, his revenue recognition would be zero. Why is that? Well, let's look at a guideline for accrual basis. When did the CPA earn this money? The CPA would have earned the money in the month that he completed the work. So in this example, the CPA completed the work and therefore earned the money in February, which is why we record revenues of 5,000 in February. But in the month of March, if you recall, he did no work. So he did not earn any money, and therefore his revenue recognition in March would be zero. So in conclusion, with cash basis accounting, revenues are recognized in the month in which you receive the money, regardless of when you earned it. Let me repeat that again. Under cash basis accounting, revenues are recognized in the month in which you receive the money, regardless of when you earned it. However, under accrual basis accounting, revenues are recognized in the month in which you earned it, regardless, regardless of when you received the cash. Let me repeat that again. Under accrual basis accounting, revenues are recognized in the month in which you have earned the money, regardless of the month in which you received the cash. So that concludes our discussion on the revenue aspects of cash basis accounting versus accrual basis accounting. This is Professor Lazarus again signing off. And as I always like to say, we accountants work our assets off.